I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today, some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, Cinderella's Shoes. You've been let go from your job, or the company's gone out of business. Thank you, pandemic. You never really did like your old job, so you're not too unhappy about it. But there you are, with a few months' worth of savings and a lot of worries about your future. You quickly grab the first job that comes along that offers halfway decent pay, ignoring the fact that this new job is an awful lot like your old job, and once again you wonder, a couple of months down the road, why you're so cranky and tired all the time, why you seem to be so depressed. Or, you've been looking for a good relationship for so long, you've just about given up, when this person comes along who's really nice, they treat you well and seem to care. Gee, you think, this could be really great. And you conveniently ignore the fact that they like hiking, bicycling, jogging, waking up with the birds, and think 10 p.m. is the middle of the night, when your preference is to read until 2 a.m. A morning bird? What, what, what's that? And hiking? <laughs> well, it's something you do to the refrigerator and back. You think, oh, heck, hiking is good for me. I don't mind and cheerfully dump all the things you used to do that make you happy in order to be with this person who you hope will make you happy. A couple of months down the road, you wonder why you're so depressed. Your new SO is as nice as ever. Things are fine, and you wonder, what's wrong with me? Can't I ever be satisfied with anything? You're suffering from a bad case of Cinderella's shoes. Yep. Do you remember in the fairy tale before the prince found Cinderella how he asked all the women in the land to try on the glass slipper? The two ugly stepsisters wanted to win the handsome prince so much that they cut off pieces of their toes in order to fit into the glass slipper. Well, that's exactly what we do when we try to make ourselves fit into relationships or jobs or any other situation, which really aren't good for us which force us to cut off pieces of ourselves in order to fit. Does this mean that you can only be in a relationship with a clone of yourself? Or you can't take on a job that doesn't exactly meet your specific preferences? No, of course not. But what it does mean is be smart. Don't blind yourself to what the relationship or the job requires of you. Be conscious. Be aware. Make informed decisions. For example, say to the person you're attracted to, Hey, I think you're great. I'd like us to see more of each other, but I realize we have different needs and preferences, and I'd like to talk about those. As scary as it may seem to openly discuss such differences, it is far less scary than the prospect of cutting off pieces of yourself for the sake of the relationship. After all, what kind of a relationship is it if you only allow a portion of yourself to function in it? Or before you take on a job or commit yourself to an organization, a hobby, whatever, ask yourself, does this situation fit with what I know about myself? Does this job, for example, satisfy enough of my work needs and preferences for me to be happy in it? Or, if it does not, but I feel financially squeezed into accepting it, am I willing to look upon this job as temporary and take active steps to getting a job more suited to who I am? Which means... In a nutshell, respect who you are and what brings you joy. Be willing to walk away. If together, you and the person you're interested in cannot find ways for both of you to get enough of your respective needs met, then be willing to let go of the relationship. If after giving it plenty of thought and attention, you cannot see a way for you to exist as who you are in a job or other situation, don't commit to it walk away. You cannot lead a satisfying and fulfilling life by filling your life up with unsatisfying and unfulfilling experiences. Have the courage to stand up for what you want and need. Respect yourself. Trust that you will find a relationship or job that does fit you as you fit it, well enough for both to be satisfied. Don't sell yourself short. Cutting off toes never won fair prints. Thank you for listening to Up. And check out my new book, I Survive COVID-19, What Now? 
finding happiness and success in a post-COVID world. If you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, as well as my website, noelnelson.com, or take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. Until next time, be well and take care.